today we're going to be talking about how to use integration by parts to prove a reduction formula. And in this particular problem, we've been asked to use integration by parts to prove the reduction formula that I've written here. And if you're not familiar with reduction formulas, basically all they are are formulas that tell you how to deal with a specific form of an integral. So for example, this reduction formula tells you that if you're given exactly the integral ln of x raised to a constant, n here is a constant, like if it's 2 or 3 or 4, something like that, it's not a variable. But if you're given the integral of ln of x raised to a constant, and your integral is in exactly that form, you can use this formula to give you a reduction of your original integral. In other words, this right-hand side here is going to be a simpler version of this integral. And essentially, the way that they create this formula is with integration by parts. So we've been asked to recreate that proof and show the reduction formula. Reduction formulas are interesting because obviously you're not going to memorize tons and tons of reduction formulas in the hope that you get an integral in exactly this form. So it's better to know methods for solving integrals like integration by parts and u substitution and partial fractions as opposed to memorizing reduction formulas. But once you identify a reduction formula, it can be helpful to use over and over again. So I've also written the integration by parts formula here so we can use it as a reference. But essentially what we're going to do is apply integration by parts to the left hand side and they want us to come up with what's on the right hand side. So if you'll remember for integration by parts, what we need to do is identify values for u and dv. In this case, u is going to be the quantity ln of x raised to the n and dv is just going to be equal to dx. So what we'll say is that u is equal to ln of x raised to the n and remember n is a constant and dv will say is equal to dx. Now since we're dealing with integration by parts remember that once you've identified u and dv you take the derivative of u to get du, so the derivative of u is called du. And in this case, du, the way that we find it, is by applying chain rule to ln of x raised to the n. So we have to use chain rule to take the derivative of this value here. Remember that chain rule tells us to take the derivative of our outside function, leaving the inside function completely untouched, and then multiply it by the derivative of the inside function. So in other words, our outside function is basically something raised to the n power. Our inside function is ln of x. So if we had, for example, if our function instead was just x to the n, right, the derivative of that would be n times x to the n minus 1. We would just use power rule. So essentially, we're ignoring what's inside here and just taking the derivative of the outside. So we bring our exponent down in front here using power rule and we say n times ln of x to the n minus 1. That's the derivative of the outside function. We've used power rule to take the derivative of the outside. We've ignored for now the inside ln of x. But because we're using chain rule we have to multiply this result here by the derivative of the inside function. Well ln of x is the inside function, the derivative of ln of x is 1 divided by x, so we have to multiply by 1 over x. And of course, because we're taking the derivative here, we have to add dx. So let's go ahead and erase this to give ourselves a little bit more room. So we have to add dx to this. dv, keep in mind, was just dx. All right, so that's our value for du we have to also take the integral of dv to get v, so we can use it in our formula. And the integral of dx is simply x. So now that we've identified values for u and du and v and dv, we can plug them into our formula. So we identified u and dv in our, in our original integral. And now we're going to plug in u, v, v and du to the right hand side of our integration by parts formula here. So we're going to take u times v, so we have u and v here, and when we multiply ln of x to the n times x, we'll just get x times ln of x 
to the n. So that's those two multiplied together. Then our formula tells us to subtract the integral, so subtract integral of v times du. So we have v here, which is just x, times du, which is n times ln of x to the n minus 1 times 1 over x dx. We've now plugged in all of the components of our integration by parts formula, and keep in mind that we need to simplify this so that it's in exactly the same form that we see over here on the right-hand side of our reduction formula. So just a couple things we need to do, the first of which is to realize that we can cancel an x from the numerator and denominator of our integral here, so these two go away. And we also need to recognize that we have n here, which remember is a constant. n is not a variable, it's a constant, and because it's a constant coefficient, it can be moved out here in front of the integral. So what we're left with is x times ln of x raised to the n minus, we move the n out in front because it's a constant coefficient, and we have the integral of the quantity ln of x to the n minus 1 dx. And as you can see, we have up here in our reduction formula x ln of x to the n minus n times the integral of ln of x to the n minus 1 dx, and that's exactly what we have here. So that's how we use integration by parts to prove this reduction formula. And now, if you get ever this integral in exactly this form where you have ln of x raised to a constant, instead of going through the integration by parts process and finding u and dv and taking, getting du and v and plugging this all in and figuring out what the simplified integral is, you could just use this reduction formula to go directly to this step and skip the integration by parts process. So that's why we use reduction formulas and that's how you can use integration by parts to find the reduction and prove this formula. So I hope you found that video helpful. If you did, like this video down below and subscribe to be notified of future videos.